Bacteria are the smallest living microorganisms which belong to the first kingdom of the five level of hierarchy classification as you may be aware of. So it can be easily grown on some solid media using some substance called as agar agar and it can be often uh, grown on plates like that over there as you can see this is something out of the footage which I've recorded so anyways let's jump off this video so firstly uh, you need some agar agar powder it's a malt extract which will be nourishing the um, you see the bacteria with some carbohydrates yeast extract which will be having most of the proteins carbs as well and also some vitamins which is the best feed for the bacteria over the culture there if you don't have yeast extract then I'm, I'll soon be making a video on how to make it at home so anyways firstly the goal here is to use a one gram of agar agar which is the solidifying agent one gram of malt extract and a half gram of yeast extract dissolved in a 62 milliliters of water which is approximately like a one quarter of a glass of a tumbler which you may be aware of I'm sorry about the speed of, of this video it feels as if it's gonna take centuries and centuries to get this completed so sorry about that so I'm done with weighing the contents out and as you can see I've just made a mixture of the three components there and I'm gonna be dumping all of this right off into the 62 milliliters of water which I weighed out so as I've brought a hot plate recently I'm, I'm gonna be using that I'm gonna be going with that All right, so we're set. I've dumped all of it into the boiling water, the stirring water. And it's gonna take a moment, like half an hour maybe. It depends upon the time which you've got. So once, I mean, I'm just going through a time lapse. So if you're trying this out at home, then be, be sure to be cautious as well as, I mean, just make sure to run that for half an hour until you see no cloudiness inside it. It will be turning into a orange, or orange kind of solution as you can see this is how it turns out into so I've took two jars I mean people actually use petri dishes in the place of these things because you know petri dishes are small glass uh, utensils I mean in, in simple language which are often which can be often autoclavable which is often called as the sterilization which killing all the other microorganisms and growing some desire microorganisms on your culture and that's a different story though and I'm going to be using a few milliliters of it into the jars and I'm going to be packing them up so this is something called as a laminar flow as you can see over there which is a mesh like structure I mean as we're doing this for a fun project it's not that necessary though but for professional uses like you know the mushrooms which we eat, which, 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 which are brought from the markets, are actually grown by breeders by using agar. Like, you know, they just grow the mycelium of the, of the uh, mushroom. And they'll be using that mycelium to inoculate other grains and all, a lot of things. And we're having a small business and I'll soon be making a video on how to grow mushrooms at home. And stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe. And I'm just going to be letting it cool for a moment. So until it cools down, we can just obtain our sample. As we're doing this for a fun part, we can be oh, we, we we can actually use some some cotton bud to just swap out at surfaces where you want to see some bacteria, like where where you think that there's more bacteria, like bathroom surfaces, wash basin surfaces, as well as common surfaces, which I'm which I'm not going to show you though. So just got the swab of it so I'm slowly I'm gently going to be using the swab and I'm going to be rubbing it over the agar in, in some desired shapes so that 
I mean, in expectance, in expectance to see something good on Agar. All right, guys. So it's been a day since we made the agar plates. It's not clear at all here. I'm going to be showing you on a photo. As you can see, some small colonies of bacteria are grown. So let me say something that there are basically three genera of bacteria growing in the air, I mean, which will be floating in the air, which typically consist of bacillus. Clostridium as well as Staphylococcus and these are the bacteria which are often found in the air and Staphylococcus I mean Staphylococcus genus will be having a species called as Staphylococcus aureus which is which causes food poisoning and hence when, whenever you just open your I mean just expose your food to the environment you'll be having some food poisoning because of this Staphylococcus aureus and that is how it's going to be I know that this sample is a weird sample. I'm going to show you more and more. This is a small contaminated sample of fluffy mycelium of some mushroom with some bacteria, which is a yellow colony, as well as you see, there's a circular round structure over there, which is some other fun fungi. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. You can try this out at home, but be a little bit cautious and that's it. Thank you so much for watching.